Andy Roddick, top American for over five years. Short period of time where James Blake was ranked ahead of him, but a very short period of time. I have a tape of his mom, Blanche, saying that he had a pitiful serve when he was a young player. So we'll look at it. He had a regress palm up. But a lot of positives still. Hands are together, has a stance. So he, right here, he fans the racket. Elbow comes way into his body. So he has a regress palm up. So then he ends up facing forward. Both feet from his nose to his toes, he's facing forward. And the story is he went out in frustration and discovered closing the racket face, having the racket in the salute position on his own. And granted, he has an abbreviated swing, but keep in mind the speed of the backswing has nothing to do with the power supply. So for Andy, like anyone, to make, make the change, he needed to practice. He needed a repetition because it's brain memory. Starts with the racket up high. Looks good as far as what he's doing with his body, but the palm turns up. Palm up equals elbow down. And if he didn't change his mechanics, I don't think he would be who we know him to be. And he certainly would be more prone to injury. Now let's look at a change to serve. Okay, remember, the better the player, the more they're criticized. But Andy Roddick, great player. Now you can see the short backswing, but notice the difference. The palm is down. Way, way out in front. Now that left arm flying behind him, that's not what he initially does, but that's what young players are going to see with a naked, untrained eye. That left arm will stay up as a reactive break, but once the player hits the ball, they need to propel themselves forward. So to bring their right hip through, they bring the left elbow back, but the palm is down. I think it's great for players to find out about change. So many examples of great champions that made changes in their game along the way.